morning. My name is Lee. Welcome back to another video. It's Sunday, the 6th of October, 2024, and today is the session bus running day. Now, I'm not going to hide, I'm going to hide working first. This is just my plan, okay? So, I'm going to catch the 9 o'clock, 1.30 service to High Wycombe. I've got just over an hour before the bus. Um, take that to High Wycombe, and then I'll get my first heritage bus from there. Um, I have been informed, though, that I am going to see GTA 8 what? UMJ, again, for the second week in a row. I saw it last week at Show Bus, and today it's out there today on the 353, 359 services. Uh, for the bus running day uh, of the Gerald's Crossing back and also on the 359 to Great Missenden. I'm not going to get it because I not wasn't planning to get it. Uh, I already had a plan and I'm going to speak to Dan, the owner, and Tim. See if the possibility of me going up to Amersham on it is possible. But it's dependent on what time it's at. I think it's quite late. So it's I think it's after the time of my normal bus. I was gonna get uh, on the 362 so I'm not gonna do it unfortunately but firstly I need to get to my port of call first to get to High Wickham and that's Ellsworth bus station so I'm just gonna walk there now uh, I've got just over an hour before the bus to High Wickham I just missed one and um, they're every half an hour though on a set on a Sunday but I'm waiting for the 130 because it's quicker and it will give me a connection um, with about a 45 minute connection in High Wycombe. Um, I would then get off there, walk over to, um, I went for the bus at High Wycombe bus station, um, and get the first heritage bus of the day that I'm catching, the 27 to Great Missenden. Uh, but yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, made it to Aylesbury now, so... What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be catching the 9 o'clock at 1.30 service to High Wycombe. Now, my first bus is on Route 27 from High Wycombe at 10.30 to Great Missenden. There, I will get off there and I'll tell the plan on the first bus of the day from Great Missenden. On the bus to Great Missenden. Um, but generally speaking, it's um, all the back roads routes. Because there's two routes to Great Missenden from High Wycombe, the 345 and the 27. I already know the 345, done the 345 before, so I'm not doing that. Um, but I haven't done the 27, and there's no local replacement of this ever. The other one is uh, the is the two routes from Cheshire to Amish, from Cheshire to Great Missenden. And again, I'm going on the backwards route, the 394. Uh, I have actually got a history of my book. In my timetable books behind me in my bag but yeah um but the trace was a like, Thames Valley route and i believe it ran every hour if i remember rightly um but i can't say for sure i will check uh and then i'll get off in Ch cheshire there i will get off there and wait half an hour for the other 394 this will take me to tring in tring i'll go to the site of the old london bus country bus depot which is on long, just on outside of Tring. Head back to Amersham and Chesham, back to Chesham, and then I'll get home by uh, Amersham. On the, I think I was getting the fourteen thirty three rail replacement bus, but I need to just check the book quickly, see if actually I can get the possibility of getting a rail rep earlier. But I need to check first. Um, firstly though, I've got the elephants to sort out and I need to walk over to the railway station again because I've just realised that there's a couple of rail replacements due in to um, Beaconsfield in about 10 minutes time. So what I'll do is I'll just walk out over there now and I'll see you uh, when my 1.30 arrives into Ellsbury. Okay, quick change of plan. The RT that was going to be doing the 301 feeder at 8.45 has arrived, RT2083. Now, I'm going to do this instead, so my plan has slightly changed. So I'm now going to go all the way to Cheshire on this, and then I'll go up to Tring and back, and then I'll go up to Great Missenden, and then go up 
to um, Wickham on the 27 that way, catch a bus back to Wickham, um, but I might get off at Amersham because it's a fast direct one, hopefully, fingers crossed if I can, um, and take that to Amersham and hopefully if the connection works out I'll just quickly check. Uh, I should make the 1435 rail replacement, which was the one I was soon to get. Uh, if I don't, the next one's not for half an hour. At um, 15.05, and then I'll have to wait for 16.20. I think it is on route 10, which is half an hour later than what I wanted. But yeah, but my route, my first bus of the day has turned up, as I say, it's an RT, oh, VF21. Uh, RT2083 this is the 8.45 for one feeder run I'm going to take this all the way to Chesham we should get to Chesham for generally speaking about no, about 10 to 10 so hopefully but yeah I'll see you when I get on the bus ok so I'm RT3 very on the foot out one I'm going to take this all the way to Buckhamstead in Chesham
Tring and Hemel Hempstead particularly. But, um, but yeah, so um, we'll be coming off the 3 one at the minute when we get to Burkham State. There, we'll go on to the 3 3 3 and that will take us to, uh, through Aston's Green and on to Cheshire. Uh, we're scheduled to get to Cheshire for about 10 to 10. Um, and I have changed my plans slightly. I am going to get the 1005 348 service to Hyde End. Even though I've done Hyde End, it was a lively room. And I've got a bit of spare time to kill on my hands. So, for my next bus at 11.25. So I'm going to get that in as well with an RF. Because uh, of course you've got to do an RF sometimes. Um, but yeah, well, I'll, I'll take some more. Uh, video when we can leave back and then and I'll see you when we get to Cheshire. Okay, so just left Berkhamsted, we're now on the 353. Now I've got this on me. Now I've got four timetable book clips um, from the London country and area and this is one of the 1977 staff one and I've just had a look. 353 uh, it was on number one of these long routes. It started in Berkhamsted, through Aston Green, onto Cheshire, onto Charles Cross, Slough, and Windsor, running hourly all day. Um, it was up as one of those long routes again. Uh, we're really, I'm only taking this as far as Cheshire, however, this bus does go further. This Hedges bus, RT2083, is going further to Charles Cross. Not to Slough, not to Windsor, unfortunately. Um, there's only a couple of runs to Slough today, and I'm not doing any of them. I don't want to go to Slough today. Uh, I'm only going as far as Cheshire. Um, but yeah, we're just going through uh, just near Aston School now. Um, we should be in Cheshire by now, but we're running, running a little late uh, for some reason. But we should be in Cheshire very soon. Uh, but I'll see you when I get off in Cheshire. Okay, we've just arrived into the town of Cheshire. Uh, this is where I'm going to get off at the Broadway um, and get my next bus. So, what I forgot to say is, does these routes still exist? So, the 301 obviously does, still kind of. It's the X5 uh, from Aylesbury to Hemel Hempstead and then the 322, both run by Reaver to Watford. Um, now, the 301 did also go to Bushy. Uh, which has loads of replacements for that. For the 353 from Cheshire to Berkhamsted, it's the 354 run by Red Eagle. Um, there's no real route from Jars Cross to Amersham to Cheshire anymore. There is one from Amersham, the 10617 run by Carousel, but that's it. Um, the, but yeah. Um, but most, some of these routes I'm about to get don't actually have a replacement route, uh, which means that these villages like Hyde End and some of the other places like Hollowsbury and places like that don't have a bus service or a very limited bus service. Uh, this is lucky because I've done the 3x4 before with Red Eagle, lovely route, it's the exact same, just a little bit different around Berkhamsted. However, I can see we are coming up to Cheshire Broadway now, um, so I'll see you when I get off. Okay, we are just arriving into Cheshire Broadway. Um, we are running a little late, but that's okay because my next bus is at 10.05. I think it's RF three five four, and it's on the three four eight, and then we're going to take that to Hyde End and back, and I'll be sure to be back in time for about a forty minute connection with, to the three nine four to train. We're just arriving into Cheshire.
find next month, but I'll have to go find That's the big boy to find in a few minutes. Oh, Red Aura. Where from London Transport Works, not County. Oh, you can see that. There we are. In Cheshire. I might see if I can grab all the cameras. Thank you very much. Oh. And here's Chesham. Oh. Okay, made it to Chesham. Uh, there's loads of motions. There's always, they're always in here at Chesham. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is I've got an hour here for my next bus. Um, so, yeah, we'll wait for that. And then, um, yeah. But, but yeah, I'm going to take some pictures now and I'll see you on my next bus. Okay, so I should not wait now. Um, my next bus is going to be an RF. So, yes, there's quite a few RFs. So, um, and I'm going to get 308, I think it was. Um, which I figure out the back of my head is a red one. I think it's the only red one I remember rightly. Uh, we're going to take this on the 1125 um, 394. Now the 394, um, I haven't actually checked the history yet, but it run, this trip I'm doing is up to Tring. Now normally in the past this used to operate every two hours, and as far as Tring, sometimes they terminate at Coddle Spring, but as well, but, uh, this bus is going all the way to Tring. Now, we get to Tring, and we terminate at the site of the old London Transport Depot. Um, now, if you don't know, Tring used to have a bus garage. Doesn't anymore, of course. Uh, apart from obviously in Long Marston uh, with Mason's coaches, but of course that's out of the town. Um, but uh, Tring itself had a bus garage. It was operated by London Country until it closed in 1977 in April. So it's a great place. See, the site of it now, I will get to in a minute, but it is a really good place. I know where it is. Because uh, I went my history. Uh, we're going to take that all the way back to Chesham then, but instead the bus then carries on through the villages onto Great Missenden. There, I have a, I think it's a 10 minute connection onto the 27. Now, I was originally meant to do the 27 early in the day, um, but we get to um, Great Missenden, and then we've got a bus at 1325 on the 27. Which is being provided by this Thames um, Thames Valley vehicle. I can't remember what it is. Um, that will take me to High Wycombe. I've got a 10 minute connection in High Wycombe onto the 724, which is that uh, E400 MMC, the carousel bus I'm providing, um, which is awesome because I haven't been on a lot of them. I've only been on one, 608. If we can have 609, I think they might be running 613, which is fine. Um, pretty sure I had that though when it was at Oxford Bus Company, though, um, which is fine for me. But yeah, but that will take me to uh, Amersham, and then I have a 10 minute connection onto the 1435 rail replacement bus host to Aylesbury. So my day will have. Um, so this is also my last time. I'm going to be in Chesham today. I'm now on an RF for most of the afternoon. All the way to Amish, to Great Missenden. But, uh, true. But, yeah, but first, we've got to wait for it. And um, that's not due for another 25 minutes, though, so it's still got a bit of time. Um, but, yeah, I will see you when my RF arrives. Okay, so I'm just waiting now at the bus stop for the bus. So, as I said, the next bus is the 394. Now, the 394 in the London country days, in my times of the guides that I've got, operated uh, between Tring and Chesham. Uh, operated approximately every two hours, because it is quite a rural route. Now I'm catching the 11.25 service, 
Um, and I've just noticed there were new route masters that's going on the tr Metropolitan Line Rail replacement with Transport UK. <laughs> Um, because I just had a word with Peter Cartway at the school. Um, um, I have more as well in my bag. Um, that there were some new route masters running on the on the route, uh, which is awesome. So yeah, um, but yeah. So here comes BM45, which should have come, but unfortunately the vehicle that was meant to do that duty, which I think was GS17, hasn't attended due to. A, Mechanical bolts. I had that last year on the 349, heading up to Asher Ridge and back. Uh, that was a nice little route actually, um, but we're doing the 394 today. Uh, we're going to take this all the way to Tring. Now, of course, I've already gone through Tring today, but I'm going to do more Trings. Uh, we're going to take the scenic way, the 394. Now, it's a popular route and if you can hear a route master, you can. It's Alan Mills 2440, another route master I've been on last year. Um, they're going up to Lay Hill, I think, yeah. Uh, but I'm just waiting for the 394, which as I said, is an RF, uh, AC, Reg Regal. Um, um, which I think is coming in now. Um, but this is going to take me on the 394, up to Tring. And this will then go up to back up. We'll take that to Tring and then we'll get off in Tring, have a look at the bus depot, and head up to. Yeah, it's my bus, it's the 394. Uh, and that will take me to Tring and then we'll have a look at the garage quickly and then we'll go back to Great Missenden. There, we'll get along the 27. There goes my bus, I'll show you it now. My bus just coming around now, it's a green RF, RF 308. This is going on to the green nine. Sorry. This is going out on 394 to Tring Garage. And this is an AUC Regal uh, NLE 527. And this is going on the 394 to Tring Garage. That is my bus. So let's hop on this. You're the train bus. Steve just said they're making it. So this is my next bus. I have a lovely RF. I mean, I've been on loads of RFs in my time. Obviously, it's 673, 180. This is my next one, 673. And this is going on the 394 heading to Tring. And yeah. That's it. Uh, so I won't record it all the way because of course um, I'll be going back on myself so what we're going to do is we're going to do it where it gets a trink and so I'll see you when I get to trink A quick photo stop here uh, in Coddlesbury and there's my half there Really good <coughs> So we're just coming into Tring now. Over there is the side of the old garage, which we'll turn there at in a minute. We've just got to go around the loop first to um, get there. Because obviously the garage is no longer there, it's the post that we're sorting off just now. And so we'll turn off now. Just turn around. Head it back towards uh, Chesham. <laughs> so this is Tring. Uh, and here's our RF. 
I'll uh, free your way. So we're now in Tring. Um, I'll have free away spot up here, yeah, and it is going to Great Missenden. So we're going to take this all the way to Missenden. So where we are here in Tring is the site of the old London Transport Depot. Now I'll just quickly run over there now. Uh, I can quickly show you it if I know it. Uh, over here, um, around the back here, at the post office sorting office, is the old Tring Grouch. Opened in 1925, it closed in April 1977, and services and staff were transferred to the Hemel Hempster garage at Two Waters. Um, the, the bus itself, I love it all our ass, but we're just going to go back on now and head to Great Missenden. Okay, so while we're waiting here in Tring, waiting to go, um, I thought I'll get my guide out again. This is the January 1977 guide, so this was two months before Tring Garage closed and all services moved to Hemel Hempstead. And the timetable, as you can know, see quickly, uh, ran every two hours throughout the day uh, with trips leaving here at the garage at 9 05, 10 35, 12 o'clock, 14 30, 16 11, and 18 04. A scheduled trip which went all the way most of the time to Cartridge. However, there were a couple of shorter trips that did go from St. Leonard's and also I think there were a couple of trips starting in, yeah, it looks like it was just St. Leonard's and I mean, there might have been a few that might have gone from Cuddlesbury as well. Um, so nowadays, Wigginton is served by the Tring Local Service, run by Red Rose Travel. Tring is obviously served by a mount sort of routes, obviously to from Aylesbury, Red Eagle, Red Rose, and, and the Reaver with the X5. Uh, however, if I remember rightly, Cuddlesbury only has a really infrequent service with, I think it's Red Rose, Red Eagle. Um, but there's no link between Wigginton and Coddlesbury anymore. Um, so this is the first time a bus has run down there for quite a while. Um, but we're now going to take this all the way to Great Missingdon. Now, I can't remember the route from it, but if I just have a look at the map, quickly, just give me a sec. I think if I remember rightly, it changed to uh, might be the three. Might be the three four nine. Uh, if we have a look at the three four nine quickly. Uh, no, it was not. Um, I think the roof got was cut back a couple of years beforehand. However, it it got blurry. Um, nowadays, Great Missington Cheshire is served by the forty one um, from Amersham, run by. Uh, run by um, carousel bus, but there is not a lot of routes that go around villages like we do. Like, for example, this bus will go through like St. Leonard's and places like that, uh, which I only see a, in frequent service now, like the Red Rose Red Eagle. Um, and yeah, um, the next route I'm catching, the 27, is not as good. I'll get to that in a minute. But for now, just staying here in Tring, we got about five minutes before we drew out. We actually went quite early actually, we weren't we were really scheduled to get ten minutes here and five minutes here and we've actually been given about fifteen. So yeah. So yeah, and they're just trying out the bus now. It's obviously no one's seen the bus for a while. Um, but yeah, I'll see you when we're on the move again. Okay, coming back to Cheshire, but not going off. This bus continues to Great Missenden, so I'm going to take this to Great Missenden, take this to, and then get the 27 bus over to High uh, Wickham. And then that will be well on this heritage wise, well on the modern bus, about two modern buses to get to uh, back home. I want to visit public groups. Very special. I mean, Jasher. Again. Like 
great Missenden. Okay, made it to Chesham again, but we're not getting off here. Um, this bus continues to Great Missenden. So we're going to take this Great Missenden. Now, when we get there, we've got a 10 minute connection to the 27 bus. Now, the 27 is an odd route because it's a Thames Valley route. It's not a um, London country route, it's a Thames Valley route. And it ran from High Wycombe to Great Missenden a few times a day. It ran really well. Um, so we'll get this to Great Missenden. This goes a long way round now, so it takes nearly half an hour to get there. And we'll take this all the way, and then we get the 27 to High Wycombe. And then I'll have to get the the, the carousel bus to Amersham, and then I'll, I'll go home from there uh, on the road replacement bus. Uh, but I'll see you when we leave Chesham. Okay, just left Chesham. Next stop, Great Missenden. I have just noticed our next bus is a Bristol VR. Uh, now it's got to go on the 359 first to get back to Chesham, Great Missenden. Um, I believe it takes just around the uh, same time as us, but we go a slightly different way through. Let me just get my program for this. Um, so I'm on the 394. Um, if I just find the triple one, there we go. Uh, through Cartbridge, Swan Bottom, and Lee, Lee Common, Billinger, and South Haven. But he just goes straight the main road through Amersham. So, so we go through Cartbridge. Um, and all the uh, I haven't got a history on this one, unfortunately. Um, I think the room, this section of the 394 was cut back before my guys were at. So they produced. But I like the room a long way. Um, and we'll take that to Amersham 
and I'll get home by uh, Amersham uh, on the Chilham Railway service. So yeah, but so far this bus is, is alright. But yeah, but I'll see you. Uh, I might take some video along the way, and maybe if we have one, uh, maybe a quick photo shot as well. I like what we did the Collins three on the train section. But yeah, but I'll, I'll do some more filming and then and then and a bit of And I'll see you when I get to Great Britain. I'm still on the R M. Um, we are nearly at Great Britain now. Just to let you know, it's South Beach, which is the last bit before Great Britain. And the good news. direct one. Um, get off at Amersham and then go home that way. Um, so it means I can get two extra buses in. The reason why two is because the, first, the train that I've been catching is actually a bus. It's a replacement bus. Hopefully the connection should work because it's only a 10 minute connection. Uh, however we are just coming into Great Britain now. Um, we are probably running about a minute late but that's okay. The connection's made. station um, and pick up the John Railway service. Well the 27 bus but I'm quite quickly book a ticket. Pick it up here which means I don't have to pick it up at Amersham because I won't be able to. I'll be able to just run it now and I'll see you when I get on the 27. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, cheers. 
this is Greg Messon, and that is my next bus, SMJ 106R, Bristol VR. Yeah, if you want Greg Messon, then if you bring the drop going down a bit. Yeah, I'm going to fall in the in a minute, I'll give something to do quickly. Now, I could get off a 
Wickham and get the 300 or 130, but I'm going to go to Amersham first. Um, now, I did just note that I have missed the bail travel fiber, which means that it's going to be a transport, unfortunately, which I'm fine with, um, all the way to Am back to Earlsbury. Hopefully we don't run late, because I've got a connection to make. Um, but yeah, so this bus is quite fast, actually. Um, uh, we should be in with them in the next five, in the next ten minutes. Okay, we're coming into my Wickham. Uh, this is where I'm going to be getting off my host buses, and now I need to get Carousel bus on Route uh, 74 to get to Amersham in time for my remote replacement bus. So, yeah, we are running companies early as well, which is awesome. It uh, means that the connection is actually longer. Um, but nice of a little ride on this <coughs> lovely old vehicle. Um, and I will be getting off the uh, waiting for the 724, which is a public. In June, I uh, have been to Wickham since, but not often. Um, and I need to find the stand. Should really check. Uh, uh, it says stand 18. I need uh, for the 724. Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you, driver. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. <sighs> Ready to hide Wickham. Now we have 10 minutes here before the 724, which you, and I'll get to the thing about in a minute, but this is my bus, SFJ106R, Bristol VR. Uh, uh, originally with Western National in, um, well, they were based in Exeter, but I think this was based in Cornwall. And, the Pensam's Truro area. But it's a nice little bus all the way from Great Missenden, a nice short run. Um, but now I've got to wait for the 724 bus, which leaves in about 10 minutes' time. Okay, mainly at the High Wickham. Um, of course, I was back, I was here in June with Heritage buses, and I'm back here with Heritage buses. <sighs> I really need to make some more foot, uh, content. But yeah, so. The next bus is my last heritage bus, except it's not that was. You might be thinking, why? Why is that late? The reason for this is because today, as part of the running day, Carousel bus are running an E400 MMC, one of the branded ones, one of the Blight Light ones, on a special 724 service. Now, the 724 originally, if you don't know, was this Green Line route. Green Line, if you don't know, in the London country days was the NAP, was the coach services. They operated all around the London country area. In the High Wycombe area, we had the 711 to Rygate um, and the 724. The 724 didn't last long here at High Wycombe Garage uh, as it was rerouted to go to Staines and replace, and Staines Garage took it on instead of Wycombe Garage along. And the route ran all the way to Romford and places like that. Uh, the 724 does still exist, it's the exact same number um, by Arriva uh, at Harlow Garage and it runs from Harlow to Heathrow Airport by Hartford, where by Hartford, St Albans, Watford and Rickmansworth. Uh, it's a lovely little route uh, if you like to sample it. But for now, I'm just waiting for the MMC to come up. 
Uh, it's due here in about five minutes and it goes at 14.03. And now they'll take me to Amersham. And there I have a 10 minute connection onto the Chulham Railways rail replacement bus service to, a to Aylesbury. So I'll see you when the bus arrives. Right, since it's high Wickham, today, of course, I had to do it. Uh, of course, so I've got a whole set now, even though I already had a kind of a whole set because I picked up two last week, the show bus, because of the uh, carousel and MC and Titan Rack. However, that didn't have the 41 or the 1 for some reason. Uh, and he had the Wickham Bus Company and the South Bucks one. So the Wickham Bus Company and for uh, Council Country. But we are going to get a Council Country bus. Um, there is one in here somewhere, uh, but it's an E400 MMC. Yeah. You might be thinking, oh dear, Lee, you're going to have to pay on this. I don't. It's part of the running day, of course. So. Oh. I just gotta wait for it to turn up. It hasn't turned up yet, it should have done by now. Um, but it might be just running a little late. Um, however, the Bristol is still here because it doesn't grab for 15 minutes uh, or so. But yeah, I will see you when the MMC arrives. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, you alright? <laughs> <laughs> Probably! <laughs> it's Carousel! <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, I might have sit behind the shit. I have to see the film. So, this is my last head. Last. But it's not a heritage bus. It's an MC. So it's JG64 or XF613 with Carousel Bus. Now, this is part of the running day, so it's free. So, I've got an extra free ride on an MMC for that week. Probably. Um, but this is on the 724, it's a direct route that will take us to Amersham. It will go to Cheshire as well, but I'm going to Amersham only due to I have a connection to make. Um, but yeah. This bus is absolutely fantastic. Um, leather seats, there's Wi Fi, there's USBs, there's everything. Um, I mean, this bus is always on the 102 flight line to Heathrow Airport, which, of course, you need all that if you're going to Heathrow. But it's a perfect bus to end this adventure around South Buckinghamshire. Um, but I will show you some views of the journey as we head on the 724 to Amersham. Okay, so coming up now through the things last week because it is raining now um, is the office outlet. Now this is the site of the High Wickham bus It opened in 1929 and closed in September 1977. Um, the site of it as you see is now office outlet which is currently vacated at the moment um, and it's a absolute beautiful building um, but I pass this depot so many times right next door is Buckinghamshire New University but that's mainly it now I would commit really that uh, boring now but inside the bus is the got leather seats I've got USBs so even I haven't got a USB stick it on. Got some timetables, even though I've already got them, um, and you got all the branding and stuff, the awards and everything. Um, and it's also Wi-Fi as well. Um, but uh, having a word with the others, uh, it looks like it's not working, um, like usual. Um, but we're going to take this on the 724, and it's non-stop there. To Amersham should be there in 20 minutes' time. So. What's the thing about So, if you don't know, back in the day, there was this thing called Green Line. Now, Green Line does still exist, albeit far less than what it used to be. Now, 
Green Line was a network of coach services that operated around London and the South East. It was not just by, it was by London Transport, slash London Country from 1970 onwards. Um, but it was always this popular way to get around from um, from uh, places around London to the nearby nearby towns and cities. Now there were quite a few of these, and one of them was the se- a number called the 724. Now the 724 uh, started in Highbrook uh, when it started, and then it went through Africa and on and on to St Paul and then on to places like St Albans and up to Harlow and it was rather popular. A year later, a couple of years later, uh, the route was rerouted to go to Rexworth rather than Amersham and Wickham and go to Heathrow Airport uh, with a very good 725. However, there was also the 74 went all the way to Staines um, and I believe Windsor at one time as well. Um, so operating out of the Staines garage uh, was the most sensible thing to do. Um, however, um, it still went all the way to Harlem. However, it also, um, it, nowadays the 724 doesn't exist. It runs from Harlow to Hartford, St Albans, Watford, Rixworth and Heathrow Airport and it operates um, every half an hour I think it is with Reva, some counties and Harlow Garage um, uh, using a fleet of currently Pulsar 2s however they will be using uh, E400 MMCs on it as well cascaded um, within um, cascading throughout around some counties, mainly from Hemel Hexit Garage um, to Covering. But the route itself is straight down the main road between a home and an Amersham, um, and then it stops in Cheshire and goes all the way further. Um, I'm only taking this to Amersham. Now, the connection was 10 minutes. I should in theory make the connection in high in Amersham to my next bus but it's a public bus albeit with a twist um, because when I was in Great Missenden there were a few rare replacements and yeah not good that means trouble doesn't it so yeah but yeah but my next stop is Amersham this is where I get off the heritage buses and this modern E400 MMC613 and take this to and then I'll get the next Chorley Railway service to Aylesbury. So my day is now over basically unfortunately. Um, it's been a great day but unfortunately I've now got to get back to Aylesbury now. Um, bear in mind it is only about coming up to um, half past two and I have to get home because if I don't do this then the next um, bus is not for another half it's not for another hour so by well, the next John Barry service anyway um, and that's what still in the off it's a rail replacement bus service so yeah but for now I'm just gonna relax on this MMC uh, also picked up another timetable because I didn't pick up the airline one at Wickham for some reason. Uh, but you can get these everywhere. Not just on the buses, but you can also get these from the stacks. Um, and the newspaper stand on the back, just behind me, just there. Uh, it's got, you probably can't see it, but it is one. Uh, the metro stand's got some tie temples. One of them is the Carousel Cultural one, which I already have. And then this one's the airline one, which I've watched above, because obviously this does the yeah, 102. But yeah. But I'm walking it now, so I will get off the bus uh, in Amersham and I'll get off there and I'll walk over to uh, the railway station bus stop to get the railway place on the bus back to Aylesbury. Okay, just pulling in to Amersham. 
Hamish. Um, um, I did just know that I did just miss one, but it was running quite late, so um, I should have about 10 minutes to connect to the uh, rail replacement bus service to um, Aylesbury. Now this is where I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much. And there we are, I'm a shum. Uh, and that's 613 on the 724 bus. Um, JG640 except. Now I've got 10 minutes here in Amersham waiting for the rail replacement bus service back to Aylesbury. Now I did just know ZCJ, why on a 9 ZCJ um, was running late. So there's a possibility that my bus could run late because the, the temperature traffic lights just down the road and the uh, safety gadget thingy that 613 has uh, was going bleeping again <laughs> like it always does but there's a route master uh, with Transport UK that's a normal London Underground Rail replacement bus service unfortunately not a John Ramage one I've only got Transborough with us but nice route master um, surprised that Transport UK are actually doing it today uh, I don't know never mind but I'm just going to wave here at Amersham waiting for the uh, rail replacement. So that's the end of my day. Uh, I'm far enough as it is, and uh, well, a route master's just coming down now on the 362, but I'm not gonna get it, unfortunately. Uh, there's another route master still coming around on the rail Um The route masters that are running today on the London Underground rail replacements, but I'm waiting for the Children Railway rail replacements. Uh, so this is LT632 with Transport UK um, and as the route master just comes in on the 362 uh, 460 LT I think that's RML 1486 if I remember rightly because it doesn't have a number on the side um, but yeah but yeah yeah, so I'm just going to wait for, uh, for the rail replacement back to Aylesbury. Um, I know which I company I've got. Because I've missed the rail bus. Mm. Yeah. It's a, it's a pain of the bottom. Pain of the bum company. Transporter bus. So I'm going to get a transport at home. Woohoo. Um, yeah, I wish I got a uh, route master as well. And a new route master as well. Mm. But no, Transport UK are doing the railway, so the best. Well, it's a line. I've got transport. What can I do? Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to wait here for the bus. Be here in about 10 minutes, so I might quickly just um, find a toilet somewhere. I don't think there is one down there, actually. So we might have to wait till I get to Aylesbury now. Uh, unless I've got a coach. I like uh, but yeah, I'll see you when the bus arrives. Okay, it's been to Tesco's, bus hasn't arrived yet, so uh, thank god. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna wait now. RT604 is just going on the 353 to um, Slough, but I'm waiting for the road rep, uh, which I think is a transport bus, but I can't say for sure. Um, but I'm just gonna run home to the bus stop now. Um, Ellsbury. So coming around the corner is my rail replacement. It is run by Transbora today as per the normal there. 73 plate MMC at Blackpool Garage. YX73 PKA. Which is, uh, well, it's an MMC, what do you expect? Uh, but this is run by, uh, you can't see it probably. Uh, it's, uh, uh, but it's run by Transbora today. Uh, I saw this earlier with Brett Messenden. I heard his hum come back to haunt me and I'm actually getting it. Um, but this is being provided by Transborer Bus of Blackpool. Uh, and this is YX73 PKA, which is number 2607. The Transborer.
Thank you very much. Oh, and that was my bus, transport with 2807 YX73 PKA. Now I had just missed the number 10. Fuck sake. Oh. However, I wasn't meant to make that connection. But there's my bus, nice MMC. Um, now, I need to go in a lot of pretty little rant here because if you don't ever know, um, I do have a thing about transport and I'll get to why in a minute. Okay, back in Ellsbury now. Unfortunately, I've just missed HW54 beating me on the 10. Great. However, I did just say that I going to do a pretty little rant because I have this thing about transport with us because of what they do here in Aylesbury. Now, I admit I, I'm not a person for ranting. However, what they do here in Aylesbury is absolutely stupid. They park their buses everywhere in Aylesbury. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess it will work for them because where they're based, they're based in Blackpool. But that MMC, okay, is all right, okay, I admit, it's a good bus. Um, ran early, most of the time. And yeah, so, that's my pretty little rant now. <laughs> Another pretty little rant is because I'm now Mr. Number 10. Uh, however, that was not the one I was meant to make. I wasn't meant to make the 20 plus 3. I was meant to make the 10 to 4. So I've now got a half an hour here in Ellsbury before my last bus home. But I'm not going to record that because it's HW54 BCB. You've seen it that bus so many times on the channel. There's no point in me showcasing it. There's honestly no point. So what I'm going to do, because I'm tired um, and I need to get home, is I'm going to pass to you to a voice over me. Uh, to a voice over me and I'll sum up what I've done today. So to conclude this video and the Cheshire Bus Running Day is hosted every year on the first Sunday of October by the Amersham District Motor Bus Society. Loads of heritage buses attend and they recreate routes around the Chesham, Amersham, High Wycombe, Great Missenden area I did note that um, at the bottom there um, that most routes don't have re often replacement routes and this is why. So the routes that I went on are here. So starting with the 301 from Aylesbury to, High to Hemel Hempstead it's operated by the X5, formerly the 500 of course and the 322 from Hemel Hempstead to Watford. Both of these are run by Arriva, Hemel Hempstead Garage but these are the most frequent of the lot, with the X5 being half hourly and the 322 being every 20 minutes. The 353 is also split, and now the 354 by Red Eagle runs from Berkhamsted to Chesham hourly, and the 106 107 combined to an hourly service as well from Amersham to Slough, which is run by Carousel Bus. For the 394, is not that straightforward. From the Chesham to Tring section, there is a limited service 194 which only operates on a Wednesday, one trip in each direction, run by Red Eagle. From Chesham to Great Missenden is also a limited service. This one's on a Saturday, uh, the 149, and this is run by Red Rose. For the 27, Route 41 does the whole route by Carousel, however, Cruise Hill does not have a bus service at all. And then finally, the 724 has a local variant called the 1A, 1B, 1C, which runs to Chesham and on to Hemel Hempstead or Cartridge. That's run by Carousel Bus. However, the 724 does still exist from Harlow to Heathrow Airport, run by Arriva. For the miles um, on all the old buses, including the 724, I travel. It was approximately 61.57 miles. However, if you include the rail replacement and my number 10 home, that goes up to 79.27 miles. This is according to my bus miles account. But I really enjoy, enjoy the Chesham Running Day. 
um, stay tuned for the items that I got and all the photos that I took but until then thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon okay so I'm back at home now and I'm going to show you what I got today at Chesham so let's begin with the old program so every year as you know Amersham District Motorbus Society do four bottom Australians days a year um, generally speaking April May, April, uh, June, July, and October. So let's start with the old running. I got so I've got. So let me just grab them out quickly. Picking up the next item after that as well. Here we go. So here they are. Um, one of them's just dropped on my my foot. But it's the next item. So the first one is the Windsor one from earlier this year in July, which I never went to because, of course, I was unavailable that week. Next, we've got the second vintage running day at Northwood, Rucks, Rice Lip and Uxbridge in 2009. The sixth uh, one in Uxbridge, uh, which was back in 2013. The 25th Amersham edition from 2013. And ha Harlow from 2014. Uh, pretty good finds those are. Um, next is the photo. So I do pick up a few photos and I'll... And they're all in here. I won't show you them, but I get, get five of them. So there's that. The next lot are some running board sort of stuff. Now, I have some, me some rail replacement ones. I've got some here. So I've got um, Ricklesworth or Howland Hill. Wembley Park to Howland Hill. Pigton Line as well. Rennes Lane to Acton Town. And... Watford to um, how on the hill um, really good find those are and the best find that I found well it was confirmed and it's official is this in this brown envelope do you need to open it let's have a look no 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 I did actually uh, stick it on unfortunately because I was a dumb dumb but this is an official thing from Amazon District Motorbus Society, and it's this, the 2025 calendar. And I won't show you it, uh, only a select number were actually produced, which is absolutely fantastic. And those were only £5, I think that was. So, yeah, and of course I had the running day guide, which I had, as well as I was using my guides from um, the show bus event that I did last week. This is my last bus running day of the year, however. Unfortunately, uh, there are no more in my local area that I can attend to. This is the last one from Amazon District this, today, and it was an absolute blast. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.